everybody. Um, so I just wanted to film a little plan with me for my month of March. And so here we go. All right. So I designed this kit myself. It is very heavily designed um, and inspired by um, Jennifer Bleachers from Life in Envelopes. I love this pattern. She set it up for some of her um, weekly spreads and monthly spreads, but she just didn't have one that fit my planner. So I decided to get adventurous and design one myself. And this is how it turned out. So y'all are going to be trying this along with me. Um, I have not tested it out yet or anything like that. So hopefully it all fits. Um, I used the seven by nine plum paper planner in the vertical priorities layout. So it looks like this. Although this page just should be the same for all vertical priorities. So anyway, um, well, I'm just gonna let y'all join me for laying down these stickers. So I'm gonna start with the monthly cover and it is just way easier to do it upside down. Don't have a whole lot going on this month already. We'll just kind of have to see how that goes. All right, let's try to line this up. Ooh. already messed up. So I can pull it back up. Uh -oh. That's what I always hate. And you try to pull something back up and it just keeps sticking to other things. Oh. Let's see if we can salvage it. Oh, uh oh, oh. Alrighty. Stop sticking. Okay, we can make that work. That's going to be covered up with sticker anyway. All right, let's try this again. So I'm trying to stick it where it will for sure cover up the days of the week. Because I have covers for those. All right, pretty good. A little off over here, but that'll work pretty good. All right, let's try this side. Maybe I can do better on this side. So anyway, like I was saying, I don't have a lot going on in the month of March yet. I'm sure I will. Not a whole lot of events to put down. Oh, well, that's where that's going to go. All right, so it just needs to be a little bit longer. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. I like it. All right, so now I have this little cover to cover up the... Um, dates at the end of March that aren't part of March. I just would rather, you know, these three dates from April, just put them in April. So that's what this um, box is for, is to cover up those. And I did pre-measure it, so hopefully it is um, going to fit this and I don't have to do any cutting. Pretty good. Needs to be a little bit taller, but it'll work. All right. So now I have this little dashboard and I haven't been that great about actually using my dashboard in my monthly view. So I'm going to try to do better. This just kind of makes it have a little bit bigger space to write than that did. Um, let's see how I want to do this. I think it might be easier to line it up on the side. And I think it's going to touch the top cover, just like that. Well, that one fit perfectly. So I just made this one a little bit longer so that it will meet. All right, and then I thought this would be a little fun little sticker to put down here to cover up the April. I never used that either. So um, I thought this one would be a fun cover up. And the Hello Spring logo came from Travel Teach Math on, I actually got it on Teacher Pay Teachers. Um, when I did like a printable planner for my um, teacher planner and it came with all these really fun um, digital stickers. So there was the Hello Spring and then the St. Patrick's Day and Pi Day. And I use them in my teacher planner since it was a printable. I just like put them in there. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to add them in for this one. All right. Now let's put our days of the week down. So I'm going to stick with the Sunday start. I have been toying with the idea of switching to a Monday start on my calendar since the days of the week are Monday starts, but um, I'm going to leave it Sunday start for now. And it's probably be easier to line this up this way. All 
Hold that straight. That's a little crooked. But we saw what happened last time when I tried to change it. That looks okay. Let's do this one right side up. Maybe I can get it a little bit straighter. So there are my days of the week. All right, now I need to put down my date dots and grab my tweezers. So do that a little bit easier. There they are. All right, and so hopefully these date dots will cover nicely. I'm actually just gonna start with this page since I'm here um, and cover those dots. And if I can figure out how to speed y'all up, I will for this part, because I know this can get kind of boring real quick. Those date dots got a little tedious, those little tiny things to get them off of here. All right, so now that we've got those laid down, I am going to put in a couple of things. So like I said, there's not a whole lot going on in March. Um, we do have St. Patrick's Day and Pi Day. I'm a math teacher, so I do get really excited about Pi Day. I usually bake a pie or something on that day. So I am gonna put this down. Um, hmm. Probably gonna put it here towards the bottom of the day. Actually, let me white out daylight savings. I don't necessarily have to have that in my planner to know it's going to happen. I'll probably Google it a few times before I ever actually look at it in my planner. And then I'll stick Pi Day down here at the bottom. And that way, if anything else goes on on that day, I can just write it at the top. All right. And then St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th. And I will just cover this up with that. Alrighty, and then 
like I mentioned, I am a teacher. And so we have spring break in March. And our spring break is from the 22nd to the 26th. And so originally I wanted to use this washi to cover that. And so I think that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully I can make it reach. Let me see. Just mark off the school days. And yeah, it should um, should cover up those days. So I'm not going to wrap it around to the weekend. So let me do that real quick. And then I'm going to need to trim it so I can not waste any. I love this um, herringbone pattern. When I sized it down to be washy, you know, this really cute arrow, which I really, really liked. Okay. Cutter bees. Watch people cut with rulers. I have not mastered that. I have to use scissors. Okay. Okay, on to the next side. 25th and 26th. Oh, awesome. This will kind of help me cover that gap that was happening because that wasn't quite tall enough. All right, and cut that off. Party wants to just lay it down, but we'll go there. Okay. Awesome. So that is spring break. Um, don't know if I need to label that that's what it is. Um, I may. I don't know yet. All right, and the only other thing that I have going on that I want to make sure I don't forget is um, I have a dinner with my husband's family that basically it's just really hard for us to schedule anybody to be together. And so I just need to make sure I put it on my calendar so we don't forget. Dinner with parents. My husband's a nurse, my mother-in-law's a nurse, my sister-in-law lives out of town, and so we have to kind of schedule those things in. I don't want to forget it. Alrighty. Okay, so that looks like that's going to be it. Um, maybe I do want to put a label in here that says this is spring break, so that's what I'll do with this other green one. So that looks like that's about it for my monthly layout for March. I don't really know of anything else that's going on. Like I said, it seems pretty empty right now, but I'm sure it will fill up as the month goes on. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I love the colors in this um, kit. Very, very pretty. And one of the nice things about making your own kit is pretty much use everything that you have. Um, I'll keep this washi and these um, event labels in the back of my planner in case anything else comes up that I need to block off time for or put in some more events. Um, but other than that, I think this is done. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again. Bye.